you can roll. Yeah, you can roll. Yeah, you can roll. Yeah, you can roll. Have the time of your life. This is Terry Jones, and we're watching Trace Photos. This is my daughter, Talia. She's 20 months. Um, I look at this photo. We were um, over here at the park, riding the teeter totter, and she's so advanced. Um, I take her here at the park all the time. We just have a good time here almost every day at 10 o'clock. As soon as she gets off her little daycare, come over here and hang out. Um, yeah, I just I love having I love being a father. I have two daughters, and um, I think it's really important to spend time, to spend time with your kids. You know, what I mean, that's you can't, you can't get anything back, you can't get the time back. So I just love um, this one photo of my daughter. Her name is Tia. This is another picture. This is my other daughter, Victoria. She's four and a half months. The cool thing, the cool, one of the coolest thing about her, is that she was born 11, 11. And that day, it was such a crazy day. We were all running around, and she came with just peace. She didn't come out crying. Um, she came out totally healthy. And right now, she's just uh, she's with her mother, and she's growing every day. Um, I love having two daughters. I, I was looking for a boy, but I guess I'm just gonna be like Kobe, be a girl dad, you know what I mean? I'm gonna keep trying until I, but you can see I make beautiful babies. We're just gonna continue with that. You would think that it would, for me, I thought it was my, as soon as my daughter came out, it was gonna be like, boom, instant change. And it was like, no, it was a process. I had to sacrifice and give up things that I normally would not wanna give up, but I'm giving them up for somebody else. I'm giving it up for my seed. It made me holy soft. But at the same time, it, 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 it brought the discipline that was put in me to my, from my parents. It, it made me more of a man for them because now I have more boundaries and gu guidelines for myself. I had to set an example. These photos, man, it's so big because sometimes when I'm sitting alone or I'm in the bathroom or whatever, I just go through my photos and if I'm in a bad mood, they can just automatically switch. My daughters laugh, my daughters smiles, automatically switch me. They change any bad energy that I have and I just thank God for that every day that I was able to hand pick seeds, you know, from God and I just, I love that, you know, and yeah. This is my third, third photo. This is my family at Christmas. This is the most intense Christmas I've ever had. Um, simply because both of my baby mothers were at this one function. <laughs> and it was very intense. Now I'm running back and forth trying to make sure they're both okay and making sure my daughter is okay and everybody's like meeting each other for the first time. And it actually went smoothly. Um, I thought it was gonna have, it was gonna end in a cat fight in the front of the yard and it wasn't. Everybody opened presents and it was just love. Um, there was a couple little looks here and there and a couple of side remarks to me, but you know, it happens. I was just so happy that my family brought together on this day. And I look back at this picture often and I just think how many, how many people I have in my life. And I'm so happy that I'm able to create life and extend that. And anytime I need advice from anybody, just go to any one of these people. It's like 15 picture, people in this picture. And you know, it's good to have a network of people in your, in your life like that. My parents, my aunts, my uncles, both my, uh, my child's mothers, my aunts and uncles' kids, my cousins, my brothers and sisters. There's a boyfriend in here. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a melting pot of diversity, you know what I mean? And, I just love taking pictures like that. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't pay for stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's a memory that's always gonna, I'm gonna have for the rest of my life. For my dad's Christmas present, we don't have photos anymore. So I went and got a regular photo like this of my of my dad, and my two daughters sitting there together. I got it blown up and I framed it and I gave it to him. And as soon as he opened it, he started crying because it's like you don't a picture. You say it's worth a thousand words, but it's it's one moment that. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't beat that. You know what I mean? And sometimes it's better to get it printed out and get it off your phone, and get out the technology, and give somebody a picture. You know what I mean? It's your boy Craig Tomlin, and you are watching Trace Photos. So my photo is of a Chevy crashed up. Um, the purpose of this photo it represents a car accident that my son was in. Um, the reason why this was so, so significant is I was at work, a regular work day, um, got a call, and it seemed kind of odd in the middle of the day um, to get a call from his mom. And, you know, so I picked, it, I picked up the phone, and I uh, immediately, you know, frantic voice, everything, and, and all I could think was, you know, she was, she was screaming, um, this guy's been in a car accident, you know, like, where, where, just the street. So she told me the streets, 
literally just looked at my the owner of the company. I'll be back. You know what I'm saying? My son was in an accident. He understood immediately, raced out of there. So I'm literally um, going in the shoulder lane of traffic, just literally like I'm a police officer, like going through traffic, running frantically. And um, by the time I get to the scene, um, I guess he had already been pulled. So my photo kind of represents what I pulled up on. Um, pulled up, it was like a movie scene. Um, it was already um, chopped off for the police that already made it there. And um, obviously being my son, was able to get past it. And it was just like a scene from a straight movie, a stunt scene in the movie. Um, crazy horrific, but thank God he lived. Um, nobody died from the situation. So it ended up being uh, a memorable moment. But uh, this, this, uh, this photo represents a big moment in time where, you know, it could have been way worse than it was, but it definitely was a life lesson. It changed my life forever. So this photo um, represents the time where my father was actually in a uh, car accident. Um, well, sort of. He was crossing the street and he said the last thing he remembered was the light turning green and poof. So apparently there was a lady who was on her cell phone and started to accelerate, didn't see him and hit him, literally crossing in the middle of a, a, a crosswalk on there, the street light. So this scene represents what I walked into when I got to the hospital. Um, one of those uh, similar scenarios that you get in a Hollywood movie, you get a phone call, hey, um, um, your dad has been in an accident, but he's okay, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they made it seem not too, too life-threatening. Um, walked into the hospital, and it was like a horror movie, you know what I mean? Just straight lacerations and bruises and things like that. So this picture represents um, a time I really feel like I could have lost my dad. Uh, it seems like it was a miracle because literally um, he had um, bad leg, you know, bad hip. And ironically, the injuries he had before are the same ones he has afterwards. No additional injuries or anything like that. So it's definitely a miracle. But this picture represents a moment. It represents for me a moment in time where life stopped for a moment. You know what I'm saying? You hear that that moment where you're thinking, you know, your mom or your dad. You always wait to hear those types of stories. This was my moment, but thank God, he's still here. So this photo represents um, freedom. Um, it's a picture of my son when he bought his very first car. Um, actually, his first luxury car. So he actually had a car before that. But um, So he was in a car accident, a pretty bad one. And from that one, he was able to get money to purchase this new car. So this car represents him driving to San Diego with friends on his own research. Um, and he found, he found the BMW that he liked. And he literally just went down there, cash, the straight purchased it outright. He didn't try to lease it or anything like that. So when he sent this photo, he was pretty much just saying, I've arrived. <laughs> but that's what it represents to me. Definitely freedom and a time where uh, my young son was becoming a man. So pretty awesome. Pretty awesome photo. It's funny. I had a chance to be at a friend's house and I saw the older people. And I mean, their parents, they had a picture of them two, the father and the mother with all the grandchildren. You know what I mean? They had a Christmas picture, they had another picture where they were at the beach, and I realized, like, wow, I didn't understand it as a child, you know, it's just pictures, it's just photos, but to be able to capture those moments, it's like you kind of create, um, you know, you create the scenario, you know, in, in their case, they were creating a scene of family, you know, all those different grandchildren, they weren't the immediate children, they were the grandchildren. So forever, they were going to be immortalized as a family. So yeah, pictures are very, very important for that. It's definitely a timestamp, and we definitely need forever and ever, for sure.